So this is my A-liner. It's actually, I made a home for it in the garage. As you can see, it's a tight squeeze. I barely have an inch at the top. And that's only because I actually let the air out of the tires so that I could work on it in the comfort of my garage for the winter. So one of the problems that I came across is that there seems to be a lot of water damage on the interior, uh, definitely under the floor once I pulled the vinyl flooring back. And if you can see this, you can actually see through it. So I'm not sure who thought that that was a good idea, but there's definitely um, a space for water to come in and definitely cause damage. So this piece here is replaceable. I believe it's called the spring cap or the spring cover. Um, the ones these days are definitely much bigger and don't have that obvious hole in there. You can actually see inside the trailer. So I believe that uh, you know that's one of the problems with the water damage. I'll have to see if there are any other leaks from weather stripping or other caulking areas that need to be taken care of. So as we come in, you can see that I pulled back the flooring and discovered that I could easily punch a hole through the floor with, with my hands. So then I started hammering through it and decided that I was gonna have to replace the flooring. And you can see where I've done some of it. I decided to stop where I was so that I could work on some of the wiring first um, before I tackle the floor because I need to make sure I know where all the wiring goes to if it works and if not uh, fix it as well as maybe add the new solar panel wiring in because I took the old solar panel wiring out. This area used to be the fixed twin size bed and I actually cut that whole panel out because the plan is to turn it into a dinette that converts to a sleeper. Um, I, I want to have a place to sit that doesn't necessarily mean I have to sit on the bed all the time. I also want to install maybe an additional 110 outlet right here in the middle where the table would go and a couple of USB charging ports. So that would be very nice. So I stopped working on the floor so that I could, uh, as I said, I was my own project manager. So I need to handle some of the wiring issues first. This is the space where the refrigerator was. So I went ahead and I pulled that out. And then this is the propane cooktop stove. I actually have a three burner stove. And we have here the propane heater as well as 110 outlet. That little space right there is actually where the voltage display was for the solar panel. And then down here we have the water pump. As I understand it, it's just a matter of internal water pump or external water pump. It's not a water heater. Then we have the furnace thermostat. Got a nice little sink here. But all of this flooring, I'm actually gonna get rid of. Um, I went under the trailer and there is a lot of damage back there underneath where you really can't see. So I kind of created my own problems. It was real cute when I bought it and I actually probably could have taken it on the road then. But I wanted to definitely give this some TLC fix all the things that I could fix, learn some things. That's my, I think it's a 18 gallon water tank. Um, I've already replaced the 27 series deep cycle battery. It was 10 years old, so I figured what the heck. Um, plus it was part of my troubleshooting when the converter actually wasn't working. So went ahead and replaced that um, just because it probably needed it anyway. So this will be a lovely storage area under the bed. Instead of keeping it as a couch that converts to a sleeper, I'm just gonna make it a big bed and a big comfy couch um, that you can relax and chill on during the day. And then we have this wheel well area, nice little storage. Pulled out the cabinet that covers part of the air conditioner. And uh, that was obviously necessary to be able to get at the floor. So the plan is to replace the floor in three sections. Lift up this cabinet unit when I need to, to work on the first section, which is gonna be right there. So that's the plan so far. Um, there's a whole lot of projects. This wall ended up being replaced with some, looks like eighth inch plywood, which by chance does not match the white wall. So I'd like them to match 
and uh, I'm gonna have to replace that plywood with something else. Then we have the uh, LED light here. I like the light, um, but I would like a double light, so I would like to have the option of have having one light or both lights lit, as well as this one over here. So I'm gonna turn that into a double, and I'm gonna remove that one, which was under the permanent bunk. So a lot of projects at hand here. Get rid of the plywood. I'm gonna do new countertops because this one, I don't know if you can tell, is actually bowed in the center. So I'm gonna redo the countertop and make all custom countertops that uh, fit the template, but are custom because I'm gonna do some sort of finish on them and make them match the rest of the countertops, including the dinette table that's gonna go right here. It's gonna be one of those boat pedestal tables. So that's the uh, project list so far. And I think you're up to speed now on what I've done with the trailer so far. And that's not to mention all the caulking and uh, interior maybe painting, definitely some exterior painting and you can tell here that uh, I'm going to need to put a double pigtail regulator on there. Right now it only has a single that you have to manually switch over to a new tank. Uh, paint this. This is pretty ratty going on right there. And then work on where to put the new solar panel, hopefully between those two bottom bubble uh, windows. So got a lot going on. I will uh, post updates as I do them and uh, wish me luck. Thank you.